thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests, like the uh, civil service exam, what I feel at, all of those things. And kahit na meron kayong anak na sa elementary or high school, probably baka makatulong din to sa kanila kasi this is all about fractions. It's part of her Math Monday series kasi every Monday I try to post a new math lesson for you guys. So if you haven't seen the others, you can always catch up. And if you want to uh, make sure that you don't miss the next lesson that I'm going to post next week, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo pag ready na siya and manotify kayo. Okay, I make these kasi a lot of these every week. Okay, and I'd love to see you on my next video. Now, like I said, we're going to talk about adding fractions ngayon. But if you haven't seen the other two videos na bago na napag-usapan natin about fractions, go ahead and watch those first. Okay, maghihintay ako dito. Just hit pause here. Click nyo yung I dito sa taas so you can catch up. I already talked about transforming fractions and finding the LCD. Both are skills that are very important sa discussion na ito. So, mas maganda kung na na aral nyo na yun para dito sa discussion na to mas mabilis nyo siyang maitindihan. Okay? And, um, balikan nyo na lang to pag napanood nyo na yung dalawa. Pero kung napanood nyo na yung dalawang yun, let's get right into this. Today, we're going to talk about adding fractions. Two methods ang ituturo ko sa inyo. Yung first, yung traditional method, yung usually ituturo ng mga teachers natin. And then, yung pangalawang method, which is a bit of a faster method, I think. Okay? And, um, yun din yung i-discuss ko sa inyo. So, you can choose kung sino sa dalawang options na ito ang mas magiging madali for you. And don't forget to hit, uh, to stay until the end of the video kasi there's going to be a quick quiz, a free quick quiz for you guys. Okay? So, Let's get started. I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about adding fractions. Uh, I'm going to give you two options sa kung paano to iso solve. So this is actually, I think, a little better than the old video. Okay? Now, again, ang rule natin dito is they have to have the same last name. Yung same last name na pinag-uusapan natin in this situation is yung denominator or yung number na nasa ilalim nila. In order for you to be able to add uh, the two fractions or the three fractions or kung ano man na siya, kailangan pare-pareho sila ng last name or apelido. So, I already discussed yung concept kung paano kayo hahanap ng LCD or least common denominator in one of my older videos. You can click it right here kung para makita nyo yun. Uh, I think it was last week na pinost ko yan. So, uh, watch that first kasi we're going to use that method for the rest of the video. Okay? So, ano ang LCD? Ang um, LCD or least common multiple, dahil isang number lang kina-consider natin, is kung ano yung um, number na mag-aabot yung dalawang ito. So, 3 at ang 6. And like I told you guys, ang pinakamagandang uh, first step is to see if yung bigger number okay, is a multiple of the smaller number. So, since 3 times 2 is 6, pwede na yun. So, 6 na lang yung kanilang common denominator. So, it becomes over 6 pareho. Okay? Now, the next task would be to convert 2 over 3 to kung ano siya, kung over 6 siya. And in order for you to do that, ang gagawin mo is kung ano yung multiply mo sa ilalim, so 3 times 2 is equal to 6, right? Kung ano man yung multiply mo dyan, yung multiply mo rin sa number sa taas. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Kasi ang 4 over 6 ay equal sa 2 over 3. It's basically the same thing. Okay? Kaya lang, yung lowest terms mo, nakuha mo yung 2 over 3. So, ang gagawin mo next would be, kung ano number na yan na lumabas, 4 over 6, plus yung existing na ito, since over 6 na siya, pwede mo na siyang kopyahin na lang, plus 1 over 6 is equal to 5 over 6. Hindi ko na siya pwedeng lowest terms, hindi rin naman siya mixed number, so ito na yung final answer ko, 5 over 6. Again, ang key here is the LCD. Kasi kung wala silang same last name, hindi mo sila pwedeng galawin. Kailangan pareho muna sila, Okay. Now, if you're comfortable with that concept already, we can move along with the uh, harder questions, okay? For example, this one. Again, the same rule applies. They have to have the same last name. Ano yun? Yung 5 at saka 4, dapat maging pareho sila. Okay? Kaya lang, it's a little more complicated kasi meron ka ng whole number dito. Ang tawag dito is uh, mixed number. I discussed this dun sa aking unang-unang video on fractions din. Uh, on transforming fractions. If hindi nyo pa napapanood, again, click right here. That is also very important sa discussion natin ngayon kasi you need to know yung concept na yun bago dito. Okay? Uh, in this team, dito sa team Laika, I encourage you guys to make use of all the resources that we already have available. Kasi uh, medyo it, it gets a little frustrating then for me when people comment sa ilalim asking for questions. Pero yung mga tanong na yun ay nasagot na sa ibang video. So, again, 
If hindi nyo naiintindihan yung ibig sabihin ng mixed number at kung paano to nako-convert, which again is a very important skill sa video na ito, i-pause nyo muna to, go to that video muna and learn how to do it. Okay? Kasi kailangan talaga siya dito. Okay? So, game. Next. Dito tayo sa two options. You have two options on how to attack this problem. I'm going to give you both and then I'm going to uh, ask you to choose kung ano yung nag-work best sa inyo. Okay? Sa akin personally, depende sa sitwasyon. Although I'm usually more comfortable with the second one kasi mas madaling manghula sa exam using that. Alright, let's talk about option one. Okay? So when you're given this, again, this is the same number that I uh, gave you kanina. You have a few uh, steps to take. Number one, you have to convert them into improper fractions. So anong itsura nun? Okay? Ang improper fractions or fractions na mas mataas yung number sa taas kasi sa number sa baba. Okay? Kasi yung proper fractions, like this one, itong 1 over 5, yung number sa taas, mas bababa sa number sa ilalim. Pero kung 5 over 1 yan, improper fraction na yun. Kasi ibig sabihin, dapat hindi mangyayari yun. So itong mixed number, as individuals, okay, so hiwalay sila, you have to convert each of them into improper fractions. And how do you do that? And again, I explained that in the video that I was talking about kanina. Watch it na lang. 2 times 5, okay, okay, 2 times 5 plus 1. So 2 times 5, is 10 plus 1, that is 11. And then, kakopya hiwa yung number sa ilalim, over 5. Yan. So, 11 over 5 is equal to 2 and 1 fifth. And then, plus, and you're going to do the same right here. So, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1, that is 5, over 4. Okay? So, yan yung first step mo. Pareho na sila improper fractions. Next step is, you have to get the LCD, or least common denominator. So again, look at 5 and 4. Ano yung least common denominator nila? Okay? Ang 5 hindi pwede. Ang 10 hindi rin pwede. So what you, what you could do would be i-multiply mo sila. So 5 times 4 is 20. So 5 times 4 is 20. That is the uh, that is a good LCD. So you can start with that na lang. So over 20. Gagawin mo siyang over 20 pareho. Again, kung naiwan kayo dito, panoorin nyo muna yung video ko on finding the LCD ha. Na-explain ko na lahat yun doon. So over 20 I e convert mo yung 11 over 5 over 20 and yung 5 para maging 20 times 4 mo siya, right? So yung go, you're going to do the same thing sa taas. So 5 times 4 20, yung 11 ito times 4 mo rin siya. Okay? So it becomes 11 times 4 44 over 20. Again, nag-iiba yung itsura niyan pero actually equal lang yan. Ang 2 and 1 5, ang 11 over 5 at ang 44 over 20 is the same fraction. Okay? Next. So plus and then you have 5 over 4. Yung 5 over 4 ngayon, ang gagawin natin is, dahil ang 4 ay times 5 mo para maging 20, ita times 5 rin natin yung nasa taas. So, 5 times 5 is 25. That is the next step. Okay? So, nakuha mo na yung LCD at na-convert mo na rin sila. Next step, add the numerators. Yung num ang numerators number sa taas, ia-add mo siya. So, 44 plus 25, that is 69 over 20. Okay, so isang fraction na lang siya. And then last step, convert them back into a mixed number. Okay? So itong 69 over 20, gagawin mo siya uling mixed number. And you're going to do that by doing this. So 69 divided by 20. Again, I explained ko to sa unang video, no? So that is going to give you 3, 60 yan. Tapos meron kang remainder na 9. This becomes yung numerator dun sa fraction mo. Ito yung whole number mo. So 3. Ito yung numerator, 9, over... 20. Okay? So, the answer is 3 and 9 over 20. Yan na yung iyong sagot. Wala ka naman ng pwede i-lowest terms kasi ang 9 at 20, wala naman siyang uh, common na factor or greatest common factor. Kung na-confuse na again kayo, nakalimutan ko nyo na kung ano yung GCF, may video na rin ako nyan, i-link ko na lang din sa taas. Okay? So, that is your answer. 3 and 9 over 20. Ngayon, we're going to do a different method. Same pa rin yung numbers. Okay? This is your option 2. Again, same yung number. Alam na natin, ang final answer natin kanina is 3 and 9 over 20. Check natin kung makukuha rin natin siya using this second method. Okay? And again, this is the one I'm more comfortable with. Paano yon? Ganito yon. Number 1, add the whole numbers first. Ang whole numbers are yung 2 at saka yung 1. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. Yung 3 na yan, okay, parang cooking show lang, set aside ko na yan, itatabi ko na yan, hindi ko na siya intindihan. Ang iniisip ko na lang ngayon is 1 fifth and 1 fourth. Okay? Again, inad ko yung whole numbers, tinabi ko siya dyan. Ang iniisip ko na lang ngayon, one-fifth at saka one-fourth. And then, we're going to go through the same motions. 
So next is get the LCD. Ang LCD ng 5 and 4 is 20. So you have over 20 here. 5 times 4, kaya naging 20. So 1 times 4 is 4. Okay? Again, yun lang ginawa natin kasi 5 times 4 is 20. 1 times 4, 4. Dito naman sa side na to, 4 times 5 ang ginawa natin para maging 20. So 1 times 5 ang gagawin natin dito. So that is 5. So 4 plus 5 na siya over 20. Next, add the numerators. You have 9 over 20. And then, add it to the sum of the whole numbers. So, ano yun? Ito yun, yung kaninang sinet aside natin or tinabi natin. Diba? Parang nagluluto ka ng pasta, tinabi mo muna yung lutong pasta, ikakabit mo lang yung fraction. So, the answer would be 3 and 9 over 20. So, again, you notice it's the same answer dun sa kanina. Maybe just a little bit faster. Ngayon, bakit ko gusto tong method na to? Kasi, Ako personally, I don't like dealing with big numbers, okay? Kasi kung kanina nakita ninyo, nag-deal tayo sa 11 times 4, nag-deal tayo ng 5 times 5, uh, so malalaki yung numbers na pinag-uusapan. Pero pag ginawa nyo to, if you notice, you keep it small. 4 plus 5 over 20 lang. Tapos, kapag nasa exam kayo, kasi nagka-countdown na 5 seconds na lang, kukunin na yung papel, alam mo na right away that the answer would be 3 and some, so greater than 3. So, ang options mo ay 2, 2 and 11 over 20, meron kang uh, 3 flat, as in 3 lang, whole number, meron kang uh, 1 and 19 over 20, tapos meron kang 3 and 9 over 20, okay? Just by the first step pa lang, nakuha mo pa lang yung 3, alam mo na na hindi to pwede, okay? Kasi the answer would be more than 3. Hindi rin to pwede kasi may fraction ka pa eh. Whole number pa lang in mo, hindi mo pa to na-add, so hindi siya pwedeng 3 lang. Tanggal na rin to, so your answer becomes this. So again, that is why I like this method. This is what I use, okay? Um, wala lang, kasi nga, again, tamad ako ng bata. So, mas gusto kong ganito. Lalo na kayo may multiple choice naman. Okay, but if you notice again, same yung skill set, skill set na required for this. Okay? Ngayon, paano kung kunyari, ang answer is more than 20 ito? Kunyari, ang answer, kunyari lang ha, ang lumabas is 39 over 20. So that is... 1 and 19 over 20, right? What do you do? Simple lang. I-add mo rin yung 1 dun sa 3. So, the answer becomes 4 and 19 over 20. So, ganun lang yung gagawin mo para makuha mo siya. Okay? So, wala lang. This is how I do it. So, ang, ang choice nyo, at least you have two options. Okay? So, time for a quick quiz on adding fractions. Again, if at any point naguluhan kayo or nakalimutan ninyo kung anong gagawin, that's the purpose of the video lesson. Balikan nyo yung video lesson so you can learn how to do this. Okay? I'll give you three minutes kasi we have three questions for this. And at the end of the three minutes, I'm going to explain kung paano makuha yung tamang sagot. Okay? Ready? Let's do this.
All right, let's see how you did. Okay, we're going to take it one at a time. We need space kasi to answer this, no? So, dito muna tayo sa number 1. So, we have 4 plus 9, eh, 4 over 9 plus 2 over 3. So, what do you do? In this case, wala namang, ano, wala namang whole numbers, no? This is just a regular fraction. Pareho silang regular fractions. So, we're going to go ahead and find the LCD. Ang LCD ng 3 at saka 9. Since ang 9 is just the bigger number, kasha yung 3, semi 3 times 3 is 9. Pasok siya. 9 is a multiple of 3. Yun na lang yung gagawin natin LCD. So, 9. And then, you just copy the 4 kasi wala ka namang ginawa dyan. Hindi mo lang siya binago. And then, yung 3 para maging 90 times 3 mo. So, yung nasa taas, ito times 3 mo rin siya. So, magiging plus 6 over 9. Okay? And then, i-add natin pareho yung number. So, you have 4 plus 6 which is 10 over 9. And since this is an improper fraction kasi mas taas yung number sa taas, ang gagawin mo 10 Okay, divided by 9, or technically, since hindi naman ganun kahirap to gawin, ibawas mo na lang yung 9 dun sa 10. You have 1, isang 9, and then 1, yung remainder over over 9, sorry. So, the answer is 1 and 1 over 9. Okay? So, again, I hope you got that right, no? Yan. So, LCD lang nagkatalo. Ngayon, if for example, you try to answer this, tapos ang naging, ginamit yung LCD is 18, that's okay. doesn't matter. Basta tama kayo na multiply. Kung mapapansin ninyo, you'll still get the same answer. For example, in this case, this would be 8 plus, and then ang 18 is 6 times 3. So, 6 times 2 is 12. You will, ang um, magiging answer mo is 20 over 18, which, which is 1 and 2 over 18. Kaya lang, is the smallest terms mo pa to, since pareho silang even, pwede siyang maging 1 and 1 over 9. So, again, pareho lang naman. Yan ang beauty ng fractions. Kaya sa akin, uh, kung nahihirapan kayo kumuha ng LCD talaga, hindi naman ultimate rule na kailangan yung LCD mismo ang gagamitin ninyo. Okay? Pwede a little over, basta ang importante dito sa conversion, hindi kayo magkamali. Kasi pwede nyo naman i-lowest terms sa dulo para makukuha yung tamang sagot. Okay? So again, just give yourself uh, a little bit of leeway there. Kasi yung iba masyado nag-fixate dun sa hindi, hindi ko mahanap yung LCD, yun ang gagawin ko. So again, you have a number of options. Basta make sure that multiple nila yung pinili ninyo. Okay? Next, let's try this out. So you have 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 5 over 12. So again, you have two options here. You can do it na i-convert mo siya pareho, magiging, uh, eight over, uh, magiging 9 over 4 at saka 17 over 12. Or yung method ko, which I'm going to use and show you. So 2 plus 1, whole numbers muna tayo. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I'll set that, that aside for the final answer. And then I have 1 fourth and 5 over 12 na lang. Least common multiple is 12. Or least common denominator is 12. Kasi ang 4 naman pwede mo i-times 3, lalabas yung 12. Okay? So this will be just 5. Kasi kukopyahin ko lang siya. Wala naman akong binago. Itong side na to, dahil 4 times 3 ang 12, ita times 3 ko both sides. So this will become 3 over 12. Yan. So the answer becomes 8 over 12. And since hindi pa to lowest terms, yung convert ko pa siya, pwede ko siyang i-divide both sides sa 4, right? So this becomes 2 over 3. So the answer is 2 over 3. Ngayon, hindi pa final answer yan, kasi huwag natin kalimutan yung sinet aside nating 3. So idadagdag ko lang siya doon, so the answer becomes 3 and, 3 and 2 thirds. Yan ang final answer natin. Kinabit mo lang siya doon. Okay? So again, yun yung value nun. Kasi kung hindi, ang gagawin mo would be 9 over 4 plus 17 over 12. And again, you can do it naman din. Over 12 sila pareho. Ito times 3 mo to. So, 9, 18, 27 plus 17 over 12. And then you're going to add this. You're going to have 44 over 12. So, that would be still, that will be 3 and 8 over 12 or 3 and 2 over 3. So, kung gusto nyo dito kayo dumaan, okay lang din. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho rin naman ang tamang sagot. Okay? Pero, ito yung method ko. Yung iset aside mo na agad yung whole numbers. Okay? One more. Number 3. Okay? This is a little harder kasi mas malalaki yung numbers na ginamit ko. Pero, I know you can figure this out. Okay? Let's try it out. Again, you can set aside the whole numbers first. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. Itatabi ko na yan siya dyan. I'm only going to deal with the fractions ngayon. 8 over 15, tsaka 9 over 10. LCD nila, since ang uh, uh, 
advice ko sa inyo, remember doon sa video, is kung hindi ka siya yung maliit na number sa 15, pwede mo siyang i-times 2. Try mo yung times 2 ng bigger number. So, 30. Ang 30 is a multiple of 10, so okay na yon. Take na tayo sa 30. Okay? So, ang 15 times 2 yan para maging 30, so ita times 2 ko yung number na sa taas. Again, when you get the hang of it, you don't need to do this sa scratch paper ninyo, no? Pag nasanay na kayo. Pero hanggat hindi pa kayo sanay sa process, do it kasi baka mawaglit ninyo. The moment that you put 8 here, mali na agad yung sagot mo. Kasi kailangan, ang lalagay mo ay 8 times 2, which is 16. Plus, and then ang 10, para maging 30, times 3 mo, ita times 3 mo rin sa taas. 9, 18, 27. So, the answer here should be 27 over 30. Okay? Tapos, next, i-add natin yung numbers sa taas. 16 plus 27. So, kukopihin lang natin yung nasa ilalim. Over 30 pa rin yan. This will be 30 plus another 13. That is 43. Okay? 43 over 30. Now, you notice, mas malaki na yung number na nasa taas kesa sa number na nasa ilalim. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon is, isusubtract natin yan, 30 do sa 43. You have 1, isang 30, and yung remainder which is 13 over 30. At ito ngayon ay dadagdag natin sa 5. So, 5 and dagdag pa na 1 and 13 over 30 or 6 and 13 over 30. Ang tamang sagot. Okay? Hindi mo naman kasi pwede i-lowest terms yung 13 sa 30. Okay? And again, if ang ginawa ninyo is kinonvert mo siya 4 times 15 plus 8, so 68 over 15 plus, and then you have 10 uh, times 1, that's 10 plus 9, 19 over 10. Kung ito naman ang ginawa ninyo, tas nag-LCD kayo, tas nag-lowest terms kayo, lalabas pa rin naman ang sagot is 6 and 13 over 30. So again, ang importante, tama tayo ng pareho ng sagot. Kung saan man kayo dumaan, ang importante, tama yung ending. Okay? So, practice, practice, practice. If you have a copy of the workbook, make sure that you answer all the exercises doon sa ating page on adding fractions. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video to your friends, lalo na mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And, as always, you can subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon para wala kayong mamiss. And, if you want to catch me in one of the live review events, or join the online review program, or just get the reviewers that I made, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team like I would love to hear back from you. Okay, so if you want any other topics din na gusto niyo discuss ko, comment yun lang din sa baba para malaman ko and ipipila ko yan. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Aja aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.